You might be used to using generics with functions, but you can also use them with React components. So here, this table component, it takes in an array of items, which I've currently typed as just id string, and then it also takes a function to render the item, which says item id string. But actually what you want here is you want to be able to pass in any items and for that id string to then propagate through to the render item here. So we can do that. You can make a item here, which would be, let's say, t item, but you might be put off by the fact that um, inside this TSX file, this syntax actually isn't valid. What you need to do instead is you need to turn this table into a function, which looks like this, and remove the arrow. And now you're allowed to use it. So here we probably need to make this generic as well, tItem. And let's add tItem up here. And now we can take the ID string and just put tItem in there. And now anything we put into here, name Matt, for instance, will be propagated through to our item because it's generic. And if we ever want to pass the generic kind of like manually and specify it, then we can pass it here. So we can say ID equal the number, for instance. And now this will error because it's not passing that. So it's a funny syntax and not a lot of people know about it. I kind of stumbled on it by accident. And every time I use it, I think, wow, that's pretty cool.